Hi, this is Ben Finio from Science Buddies, and this video is a quick demonstration of our motion-activated robot project. The robot is controlled by a motion sensor similar to what you would find in many home security systems or energy-saving motion-activated lights. Here you can see what happens when I first turn the robot on. The motion sensor needs to calibrate to its environment, so it temporarily activates, causing the wheels to spin. Once it is done calibrating, it will turn off and the wheels will stop. Now the robot will wait to move until it detects motion. You can see that when I move my hand in front of the robot, it automatically drives forward. If I reset the robot, you can see that the sensor is actually very sensitive. You do not have to be moving very fast, and it has a very wide field of view, so it can easily detect your hand, even from the side. This can make it difficult to handle the robot without accidentally triggering the sensor. You can fix this problem by limiting the sensor's field of view, for example, by covering it with a cardboard tube. Now you'll see that when I reset the robot, I can safely move my hands near its sides without setting it off, but if I move my hand in front of the robot, it still triggers the sensor and causes it to drive forward. If you'd like to build your very own motion-activated guard robot, you can find written directions in the description below this YouTube video. You can also build three other variations of the robot using many of the same parts, including a light following version, a line tracking version, and a remote controlled version. You can find links to directions for all of these projects in the description below the video as well. Finally, you can find over 1,000 other fun science and engineering projects for school or at home at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.